capital M small m less than capital R capital R less than or equal to capital U small u less than capital T small t greater than or equal to capital R small r equals to capital T capital T. Now this capital small drama is being done because you see we have got two different uh, double r's here right this is capital capital this is capital small now he's asking us to find out if t t is greater than u u or t t is less than or equal to u u right now, now try and compare t with u so basically t is equal to r you know that these two can be swapped right this is a very basic concept of coded inequalities right these two are equal so we can interchange these two now if you consider what do we get u is less than or equal to in fact here also we have two different types of t's right okay so u u is less than capital T small t is greater than or equal to actually capital R smaller but I will replace that with TT. Now if we try and compare these two what do we find there are different types of relationships in between these two. Now going by rule number two of coded inequalities the moment you find dissimilar inequalities between two variables we can conclude that these two cannot be compared right cannot be compared the answer should be cannot be com cannot be compared as in we have no definite answer to this one you can be greater than t you can be less than t or you can be equal to t. Now the first conclusion says so if u is so, so what are the possible relationships possible relationships are this u u less than t t or u u greater than t t or u u equal to t t all three are possible all three are possible now if you look at the first uh, conclusion here it says t is greater than u how is t greater than u t can be greater than u but it can also be less than or it can be equal so first one is wrong second when you see t less than or equal to u this also is wrong because it cannot be definitely less or equal right it can be more However, when I combine the two conclusions, I can say that the answer is either this or this because when you club these two, all the three possible relationships are given there. Greater is there, less is there, equal to is also there. So basically the answer should be either or, either one or two is true. Either one or two is definitely true. Right? Independently they are wrong, but either one or two is true. So in which of the following expressions, Q greater than P is not true. See, uh, J is less than or equal to Q, Q is greater than M m is equal to h okay look at the first statement here q is greater than m m is equal to h h is greater than or equal to p or directly i can say see q is greater than m correct and m is equal to h so what can i say i can also say that q is greater than h and it is given h is greater than or equal to p so definitely q is greater than p so this is not the correct answer look at next option option b here p is greater than m m is less than or equal to h Okay, P is greater than M, M is less than or equal to H, but it is also given that H is equal to Q. So I can say M is less than or equal to Q also. And you know P is greater than M. Again, can you say anything about uh, the relationship between P and Q? You cannot say actually, correct? You cannot say Q is greater than P or less than P. You know that P is greater than M and M is less than or equal to Q. With that, you cannot find the relationship between P and Q. Okay, now let us look at option C. Option C, what is it saying? M is equal to P. Uh, P is less than H. Again, if you combine these statements, what do you get? See, P is less than H. Or I can say P is less than N because H is equal to N. This is less than or equal to Q. So, the, here also Q is greater than P. Now, if you take this option, here we could not find the relationship between Q and P at all. Whether who is greater, who is smaller. So, in which of the following expressions Q greater than P is not true. So that is going to be again no relationship between P and Q can be determined in this statement. So the correct answer is option B. Q greater than P is not true. Next question is there on your screen. See in such questions the best way to solve is like this. See whatever uh, star represents what just write it down if you have the time. Star represents greater than. Uh, percentage represents uh, either greater than or equal to and C represents smaller than generally because from this type you will have four or five questions that come okay at least two or three questions that will come of the same type so if you note down this information know what each symbol represents it will be easier for you to rewrite the question accordingly um, at represents smaller than or equal to this symbol represents equal to okay now what is the given statement here z is less than p i'm just taking these symbols respective symbols and writing it down t equal to m m greater than or equal to z now what is the first conclusion the first conclusion says m greater than z the second conclusion says t greater than or equal to p 
Okay. Let us look at the uh, given statements. So, what is given? Z is less than P. Okay. Now, here you know M is greater than or equal to Z. Similarly, T is also, T is equal to M. Correct. So, I can say T is also greater than or equal to Z. And then it is given that P is greater than Z. Correct. Z is less than P means P is greater than Z. Now, the first conclusion says M is greater than Z. See, what you can uh, derive from the given statements, you can only say that M is greater than or equal to Z. By saying that M is greater than or equal to Z, I cannot surely say that M is greater than Z. It can be equal to also. Correct. So, this conclusion does not follow. In the given statements, it is given M can be greater than or it can be equal to Z. So, using that, you cannot say definitely M is going to be greater than Z. So, conclusion 1 does not follow. Next, T is greater than or equal to P. Again, see what do we know from the given statements? We know that M is greater than or equal to Z, T is greater than or equal to Z, P is greater than Z. That's all you know. You know the relationship of each of these variables with respect to Z. Now, do you know anything about the relationship between P and T? They can be equal, they can be greater, one can be greater, the other can be lesser. So, you cannot uh, conclude that. Correct? No relationship between T and P, we can find out from the given information. So, this conclusion also does not follow. So, the correct answer for this question is option D. That is neither conclusion 1 nor 2 follows.